All right, hey everybody, sorry for the late start here. Um, welcome to our second Monday of Bodyweight Kits. Hope you are enjoying your first day of distance learning. Um, we're gonna start out again with just some movement prep. I am not used to this whole camera thing. Here's my body. Um, <laughs> we're gonna start out with some movement prep, a little warm up, and then we'll get into it. We'll do several different cardio circuits, with yoga, I may mix it up this week, how I do yoga in between, I may just decide as we go. So just get ready to use you and your mat and your heart rate and your intensity to make this your workout. All right, so let's all start out on our backs with our feet together, knees falling open into butterfly. And for those of you out there in the real world, you're welcome to follow me on Spotify. It's M. O'Brien Lawyer, just almost any playlist I have that has the word hit in it, or the word fire, or circuit, all of those playlists, we usually have a lot of fun and upbeat music for the cardio circuits, and um, you can also just use music that energizes you. Just let your knees fall open wide, press the soles of your feet together, relax your shoulders into the mat, and begin to take notice of your breath. Big deep breath in through the nose. Big deep breath out through the mouth. Settling in. Again, big deep breath in through the nose. See if you can fill your lungs up a little bit fuller this time. And then open your mouth and let it all go. Next time, even a little deeper, expanding your lungs from side to side. Pull in the breath. Hold it at the top of the breath. Open your mouth and slow your exhale down. Try to make your exhale twice as long as your inhale. When you get to the bottom of the breath, squeeze your belly and empty your lungs. Big deep breath in. Open your mouth, let it go. So you get completely to the bottom, squeezing your belly, letting the last little bit of air go. Next breath in, seal your lips. Big breath in through the nose. Big breath out through the nose, sealing your lips on both the inhale and the exhale. This is your Ujjayi breath or your victory breath, your warrior breath, the one we often talk about in yoga as being the soundtrack to your practice. One breath, one movement, in through the nose on a pose, out through the nose on another pose. In a HIIT workout, it's also ideal for settling our body after we push and go breathless. So it's the, the opportunity that we have to go from being breathless to maintaining control of our breath again and then allowing our bodies to be able to do another HIIT circuit. Big breath in through the nose. Big breath out through the nose. Start to let your legs relax long on the mat. Extend them out in front of you, and then just draw your left knee in toward your chest. Give it a nice big squeeze. Extend your right leg long on the mat. Good, pull it in, roll it around a little bit. Whatever feels right, start to move your ankle in a circle. So just get out the little rice krispies. Take it the other direction. And then leave your left hand just below your kneecap. Open your right arm out to the side and then let your knee fall open to the left. So we're just opening through the groin and inner thigh. Right arm can be relaxed however you want it to. It can be in cactus, it can be extended just straight up to the side. Just really want you to let the knee, the left knee fall open. Big stretch in the inner thigh, big opening in the groin area. Good, and then bring it back to the center, switch hands. This time your right hand is gonna go on the outside of your left knee, and you're gonna gently twist the other direction. Good, left arm either extends out straight or it opens up into cactus. Good, just hold it there and breathe. Continue with that Ujjayi breath. Ride the wave of the breath. Inhale, bring it back to the center. Extend the left leg long, draw the right knee in towards your chest, and circle your ankle. Leave your right hand on the underside of your right kneecap and open your knee out wide to the right. 
Groin stretch, inner thigh stretch. Left arm extends out to the side of you. Left arm opens, right knee opens. Just let it fall open wide, beautiful. Inhale, bring it back through center. Exhale, opposite hand outside of the knee. Twist it over to the left, good. Inhale, come back to the center. On the exhale, extend both of your legs towards the ceiling. Good. Grab behind your left hamstring. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders up and off the mat, and drop your right leg to hover about an inch or two off the mat. Good, just hold it there, hold it there. Now begin to switch, switch legs, just scissor your legs. Start to breathe with each switch, exhaling through the nose. Warming up through your core, draw your shoulders down and away from your ears so you're not feeling it in your neck or your upper back, but you're feeling the control in your core. Keep exhaling through the movement for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower your head, neck, and shoulders. Pull your knees in towards your armpits. Reach on the inside of your knees to the outsides of your feet. Happy baby. Yeah. Maybe you rock it back and forth a little bit. Whatever feels good here. We're going to move through all of those poses one more time, moving with our breath before we start the big stuff. Left knee comes in towards your chest, right knee extends long, roll your ankle in a circle, spin it one way, spin it the opposite direction, and then just let your knee fall open to the left. Groin stretch. Yeah. Inhale through center, exhale, take it the other way, twist. Inhale, come through center, exhale, extend the leg and switch. Right knee comes in, same thing. Roll your ankle around a little bit, switch directions. And then open the knee out to the right. Inner thigh stretch. Take it across your body. Good. Twist. Come back to the center, extending both legs up towards the ceiling. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders. Engage your shoulders down and away from your ears. And switch, switch, grab behind the backs of the legs, or you can do what Jordan was doing at the beginning. You can take your fingertips behind your ears if you want just a little bit more challenge with this movement. Good, exhale on the movement. We've got 20 more, fire up the belly. You got it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Release it all the way back. Happy baby. Your version of happy baby. Inside the knees to the outsides of the feet or the insides of the feet. Rock and roll from side to side if you'd like. Or just stay there and draw your knees towards your armpits. Good. Tuck both knees into your chest. Start to rock and roll yourself up and over into all fours tabletop positions. So your shoulders are over your wrists, your hips are over your knees, your toes are flexed. Big breath in, exhale, lift your knees about an inch or two inches off the mat. Beautiful. So you should be at a nice square here. Shoulders lined up over the wrist, hips lined up over the knees, belly is pulled in and you've got that natural curve in your low back. Excellent. Now, I want you to pretend your knees are a metronome. Every other part of your body is still. Swing the knees over to the right. Come back through center. Swing the knees to the left. Come back through center. So keep this part of the body still. Just swing your knees back and forth. Swing, swing. Good, good. Really get into your belly. Nice core work here. Swing it back and forth. Beautiful. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, deep, forward, you got it, four, three, two, one. Drop your heels, let your head fall in between your arms, downward facing dog. Nice, big breath in, big breath out. Next inhale finds you lifting high onto the balls of your feet. 
Exhale, gaze through the hands, travel to the front of the mat. Some of you may want to hop, some of you may want to take a giant step, some of you may stutter step. And then hang out here in forward fold for just a moment like Jordan is. Grab your opposite elbows. Let the weight of your head fall down and away from your shoulders. Swing it back and forth. Release your fingertips to the floor or the shins. Inhale, lift your chest with the crown of your head towards the front of your mat. Nice flat back, draw the belly in. Good, exhale, fold yourself back down over your legs. Press through all four corners of your feet. Engage your belly as you root to rise. Lift your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Good, inhale here. On an exhale, right foot steps out to the edge of the mat into a goddess squat. Hands come to heart center. Inhale, you come back to the center, mountain pose. Exhale to the left side. Inhale to the center. Let's try that one more time. Exhale, goddess right. Inhale, reach center. Exhale, goddess left. Inhale, reach center. Stay in the center this time. Finish that set if you've got it. Stay in the center and then dive it all the way down to the mat. Inhale, flat back lifts. Exhale, step back into high plank and stay there. Stay. Good. Tilt your tailbone under. Really feel your belly engage. Focus your mind on drawing the heels of the palm back towards your toes so that you're engaging even more through the center of your body. Now very slowly, we're going to just take the knees to the mat. Nothing else, just the knees. We're going to go in four. Very slowly, let's start back at high plank. Very slowly, we're taking the knees to the floor in four, three, two, one. Good, until they drop. Next time, very slowly, going through chaturanga the push-up, you're going four, three, two, one, to your point of strength. Good, now you're going to press up in four, three, two, one, and then you're going to lift your knees back to high plank in four, three, two, one. Let's try that again. Slow knees. Four, three, two, one. Slow chatter on the push-up. Four, three. You can just really focus on squeezing your elbows in here. Come back up in four, three, two, one. Lift the knees in four, three, just to high plank. Shift back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come high on the balls of the feet. Exhale, travel to the front of the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, nose lowers down towards your knees. Inhale, root to rise. Reach fire and energy through your fingertips. Exhale, goddess to the right. Inhale, come center. Goddess to the left. Inhale, come center. Dive it all the way down to the mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back, high plank, and hold. Hold your high plank. Hold it. Fire up. Palms towards the toes. Pull it in. Engage. You look like you're still, but you know you're working. Breathe through it. Knees go down in four, three, two, one. Chaturanga in four, three, two, one. Push. Squeeze the belly up in four, three, two, one. Lift the knees in four, three, two. You got it. Try that one more time. Nobody said slowing down made it easier. Take it down slowly. Three, two, one. Chaturanga. Hug the elbows in towards your sides. When you get to the bottom, engage everything. Push slowly up in four, three, two, one. Lift your knees in four, three, two, one. Big breath in through the nose here. As you exhale, pull the belly in like you're drawing that bow. Shift back into downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, high on the balls of the feet. Exhale, travel to the front of the mat. I think we'll warm. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, round and release. Press through all four corners of the feet. Root to rise, come all the way up. Exhale, hands 
Come Heart Center. Nice. Okay, so we're going to change it up. If you were with us last week, that's great because it's going to be a little bit different. If you're not, then it doesn't make any difference. Last week, we grouped a whole bunch of exercises together and did one at a time. Today, we're going to pick one of our exercises and we're going to do it repeatedly with small breaks in between. So a typical HIIT workout. First cardio exercise looks like this. So we're all standing at the top of our mats. We're going to step wide and back into a side lunge. And then you can either step back to the front of the mat or you can add a hop. Other way, step left into a lunge, step back into a squeeze or add a hop. So here we go. Let's practice it a couple of rounds, George. Lunge, hop. Lunge, hop. So give me some big arms on your lunge. Either pop them up or take them way back. Good. All right, so we're going to go 30 seconds. You've had the opportunity to practice it. Here we go. Now, lunge back right. Pop and hop. Left. You got it. Pop and hop. You guys at home, follow along. Breathe. This is where I want you to become breathless. So don't be afraid to get lower than you might think you can go. Don't be afraid to hop. You're going to have the opportunity to recover. So work as hard as you can. Be ready for the recoveries and then ready to do it again. Good. Lunge, hop. Lunge, hop. Big as you can go. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Breathe. So we talked earlier about not only does Ujjayi breath allow us the ability to flow through our yoga practice in a one breath, one movement format, but it's also great for stress reduction. Not only stress reduction in our day-to-day -day lives, but when we're cooling down from a hit interval. So we go breathless, and then we stop and we use our Ujjayi breath to gather ourselves up again and begin again. So top of your mat, it's gonna happen. You know what it is. Here we go, side lunge, hop, side lunge, hop. You should be warm by now, starting to feel your heartbeat, starting to feel the heat build in your body. See if you can push a little bit harder. Truly find breathless. Lose your breath. Good, push and hop, push and hop. You got it, hop it out, push, hop it out. Get low, use those large muscles, yes. Nice. An option might be at the top of your mat, have your mat, you add a tuck squat, yes? Yeah, a tuck jump. Yeah, good, Jordan. Up and pop. Five, four, three, two, one, breathe. So here's that interplay between the types of breath. Lose your breath, regain your breath. It's really tough when we lose our breath to go back to victory breath where we're keeping our lips sealed. But try it. All right, one more time through that set of exercises. Here we go. Get ready in four, three, two, here we go. Hop and side lunge, hop and side lunge. Yeah, you got it. Get low. Use your arms. Propulse. Really get up there. Add a tuck jump if you want. None of these things are necessary. They're just suggestions to get you where you want to be, losing your breath. Nice. Pop it up. Lunge. Pop it up. Good. Excellent, Jordan. Lift and hop. Lift and hop. 10 seconds. Come on, push. You've got an extra long recovery here after this 10 for five, four, three, two, one. Stand at the top of your mat. Big breath in. Big breath out. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Exhale, we're just gonna bring them back down to heart center five times. Inhale. Exhale, hands, heart center. Inhale. Hands, heart center. Last time, big breath in. 
Last time, big breath out. Use your left foot as your rooted foot. Reach behind, grab the top of your right foot, just a quad stretch. Later, we'll transform this pose into dancer when we put some yoga poses together. But for now, just reach behind, feel the length in your quad, and breathe. Continue to use your ujjayi as your recovery breath. Drop the right foot down, switch sides. Left heel comes in, give your quad a stretch. All right, come all the way down to the mat, high plank. High plank, get strong. Stay in high plank for a moment. Shift your shoulders out over your wrists. Maybe get high on the balls of your feet. Really feel the strongest you you can in your plank. So the next cardio set, pretty simple. We all know it. Right knee to left elbow. Right knee to left elbow. Yeah, step back. Left knee to right elbow. Okay, what do we have? It's twisted mountain climber. Yeah, that's it. No big deal. You can go right, left, right, left. You can also pick up the pace and you can run it out in your twisted mountain climber. Lots of different options. If you can't tap the knee to the elbow, who cares? It doesn't matter. Just move, just breathe, lose your breath. Shift it out into high plank, get ready. Set, first 30 seconds starts now. Twisted mountain climbers. Get into your obliques, draw your belly in. Feel the engagement in your waistline as you're twisting from side to side. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Strong, halfway there. You've got 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Drop down to your knees or come into downward facing dog, whatever feels good. Yeah. Knees and shins. Good idea after those cardio sets to try to keep your head above your heart as much as possible and just breathe. First order of business, get strong in your high plank. Find the place where you're secure and you feel like a battle scar warrior. And then we're gonna go in four, three, two, one, twisted mountain climbers. Go, 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 go. Yeah. See if maybe you can get your knee a little closer to the side on your elbow if you can. Twist it out a little bit more. Squeeze through the oblique muscles. Draw your belly in, protect your back. Yeah, yeah. Halfway there. You got it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. You've got three more, two more. Last one, drop to your shins, head above your heart, breathe. Big breath in, last big breath out. Make your way into high plank. Last time through your twisted mountain climbers. Get strong, get your shoulders over your wrists. Draw in your belly, tuck your tailbone under. All those things we talked about at the beginning of class. Draw in your heels towards your, heel your palm towards your toes. Get ready, get set, twisted mountain climbers. Here we go, push it, push it. You can go slow, you can go fast. Don't feel the need to run it out. Just tapping your knee from corner to corner going tap, 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 tap. That's going to fire up your heart rate. You're using all of your large muscle groups. Keep going. Finish it out. Finish strong. For 10. You got to go. Go. Last four. Three, two, one. Drop to your shins. Head above your heart. One more set of cardio, then we'll throw in a few yoga poses and begin another set of cardio after that. So 
Just breathe a few more times, catch your breath. So for all of you that had your spring break ski plans cut short by COVID-19, here's your opportunity to book it down the slopes with no risk of falling or embarrassing knee injuries or rides to the bottom of the ski patrol. All right, so top of the back, pretty simple, just start hopping side to side. Yeah, that's easy. Those of you who just want to go here, this is all you need to do. Want to make it bigger? Get those arms going. Go, go, go. All right, here we go. 30 seconds. Starts now. Push, push, push. You got it. Back and forth. See if you can't get it off your mat on one side and off your mat on the other. That's a nice challenge. Good, Jordan. She's always up for the challenge. Go, go, go. Big arms, big legs. Push, push, push for 10, 9, 8. You got it. Three, two, one, stand there and breathe. If you like to walk in little circles, whatever you need to do to recover. So when you get to this recovery point, if you don't feel like you need it, then chances are you need to push harder on the cardio part. When we get to this time where we're breathing and bringing our heart rate right down from breathless, you should be in a place where you've lost your breath. So top of the mat, let's try it again. Get ready. 30 seconds, go. Back and forth. Yeah, you got it. Big arms, big legs. When they're both moving, when they're both pushing, that's where you're going to get the heart rate. Yeah. Go. Push. Nice. You're over halfway there. We've got 10 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, one, breathe. Seal your lips. Focus on your warrior breath. one of these. Are we ready? Four, three, two, here we go. Back and forth, side to side. Push it out. I'm giving you a longer recovery at the end of this one, so see if you can't absolutely drain the tank. Leave it all on the mat. Go to that place where you say, I have just got to stop for a moment. Push, push. Maybe get softer in your knees, bigger legs. Push bigger with the arms. You got it. You got the last 10. Four more. Three, two, one. And breathe. Top of your mat. Maybe take your hand over your heart. Feel how your heart is beating really strong now. And then begin your ujjayi breath cycle and notice how quickly your heart rate comes down. Spin it to 45 degrees, warrior one. Sweep the arms up, reaching energy and fire through your fingertips. Press into the outside edge of that back foot. Reach with your fingertips, but drop your shoulders at the same time. Interlace your fingers behind you. Keep the legs right where they are. Drive the knuckles down the backs of the legs. Puff up your chest and then fall forward inside that right knee, humble warrior. You can either leave your arm 
arms relaxing into your back, or you can let your arms fall over the back of your head. Humble warrior. Sweep yourself back up into warrior one. Good. Then drop your left knee to the floor. Take the left elbow to the outside edge of your right knee. Twisted low crescent. Press your left elbow into the outside of your knee. Press your hands together. Engage your chest. Engage your core. Pull the belly in deep and twist it out. Good. Unhook your elbow. Frame your right foot. Stand up. Straighten your right leg. Drop your left heel. Pyramid pose. Just let your nose fall towards your knees. And try to shift both hips back to where they're square. So especially in this right hip, you're really thinking about drawing it back even with your left hip. Lots of stretch in the right IT band. Lots of stability from the waistline down, but strength from the belly up. And then maybe lower a little further into the front knee. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Puff up your chest on an inhale. Really use the space you've created in your lungs to fill them up. And then exhale, dive forward into Humble Warrior. The goal is to get your left shoulder inside of your left knee. If you're not there yet, it's okay. Just fold forward. Drop your arms over your head or don't. But keep your hips shifting back in a squared position. We're staying strong and square in the low body. Release your hands. Come back up to warrior one. Drop your right knee to the floor. Right elbow on the outside of your left knee. Twisted low crescent. Just breathe. With each exhale, get a little deeper into your twist. Unhook the elbow, frame your left foot, shift back into pyramid pose. Breathe. Yeah. Fold your knee down towards your nose. And this time, we're trying to direct your left hip to come back in line with your right. Feeling a nice stretch in your left IT band, left hip. Press into your left foot. Step your right foot up to meet the left. Inhale, press energy through your feet as you reach your fingertips all the way up to the ceiling. Exhale, dive all the way down, moving through a flow. Flat back lifts. Exhale, step or hop. Any amount through push-up, find your strongest point. Lift your chest between the shoulders, open your heart. Use your core to pull you back, downward facing dog. All right, are you guys ready to pick your heart right up again? Let's do it. Shift into high plank. We're gonna go slowly and break this first one down so that everybody can understand it. All right, Jordan, I want you to step your right foot to the outside of your right hand so you're going into a lizard lunge. All right, good. Keep pressing into your right foot. Release your right hand. You're going to kick through. Yeah, and catch your left toe with your right hand. You got it. Kick back through the lizard lunge. Step your right foot back where it came from. And go the other way. Left foot steps to the outside of your left hand. Kick through. Catch your right, left, right toes with your left hand. Kick back through. Step back. So here's the nice thing about this. Oh, whoops. 
We got a battery issue. Oh, sorry guys, hope you didn't miss that. Let's do it again real quick. We're stepping in the lizard lunge, kicking through and catching the toe. Stepping back, stepping back. Step through lizard, kick through, step back and back. All right, lots of options. You can just do stepping lizards. Adding the toe catch is a little bit more of um, a tougher interval. You can go slow, you can go fast. So we're gonna go for 30 seconds. Beginning now, here we go. Step into lizard, kick it through, step back and back. Lizard, kick through, step back and back. You got it. On your time, your heart rate should come up pretty quickly, even if you're moving slow. You are using every single muscle you've got here, plus your brain, to exercise balance. So just move through it. We're losing our breath again. Push hard. Yeah, you got it. Step, kick, step back and back. Step, kick, step back and back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop to your shins and breathe. Three times through that one. Lizard lunge, kick through, step back and back. As fast or slow as you want. Add anything on, take anything away. Make this your step, kick, back and back. Step, kick, back and back. You got it. Step, kick, back and back. Core is working. You are having to balance. All of your large muscle groups are engaging here. Just keep moving. Lose your breath for 10 more seconds. Nice. Last five, four, three, two, one. Drop down to your shins and breathe. One more time through that cycle, then we'll take a few extra breaths and we'll move on to the next exercise. All right, here we go, high plank, last time. Nail it to the wall, you guys, drain your tank. Here we go, starting now. Step, kick through, back and back. Step, kick through, back and back. You've got it. Wide, kick, back and back. Step, wide, kick, back and back. You've got it. Step, kick, back and back. Engage, breathe. Move quickly if you need to. Take away if you need to. Just lose your breath. I can't emphasize that enough. That's what we're here to do in hit intervals. We're making a metabolic furnace so that when you leave whatever room you're in right now and you leave your mat, your body is going to continue to burn and flush. Got it for five, four, three, two, one. Drop to your shins and breathe. A little bit longer. Recovering here. Practice your victory breath. Practice using your victory breath as a recovery method. Not only in here, but outside those doors. All right, top of your mat, next set. Stand up, top of the mat, good. All right, Jordan, we're gonna drop down to your right knee and then down to your left knee. So you're gonna come down and down. Now right knee comes forward, left knee pops up. You can either hop or not, then we're gonna switch directions. Left, right, left, right knee. Right, left, Right, left knee. Left, right, left. You got it. Okay, so the options are you don't have to hop. You can come down, down, 
up and just squeeze the right booty and lift up and out of it. Really give it a giant squeeze. You're gonna get every bit as much heart rate without hopping. If you like the hop, hop. Here we go, we're gonna go in four, three, starting right and then left. Here we go, right, left, right, left knee lifts. We go down left, right, left, right knee lifts. You got it. Down, down, up and go. If this is hard on your knees, just stand and take some big knee lifts right here. You can use big arms and big knees if this is not something that works for you. This isn't for everybody. Down, down, up and lift. 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 You got it. Take it down, down, up and lift. Squeeze it or hop it. Five, four, three, two, one. Wherever you land on your feet or on your knees, just breathe. All right, top of your mat. Let's go in four, three, two, lead on whatever side you want to. Here we go. Down, down, up, lift the knee. Down, down, up, lift the knee. Down, down, up. Hop or step. Whether you're hopping or stepping, I really want you to focus on squeezing that glute muscle on the side that is lifting you up. Give it a huge squeeze. What's the largest striated muscle group in your body, Jordan? Glutes. Your booty, that's right. So the stronger and the leaner it is, the more calories it burns at rest. So let's, well, I'm not saying you want to make it huge, but you want to make it strong and lean, right? Keep going. For 10, nine. In five, four, three, two, one, breathe. One more time for that one, then we'll move on. Two more exercises, you guys, you've got this. You're on the home stretch. I hope all of you guys out there have found some music to inspire you. But remember, we don't always have to have music. We're kind of learning how to live in a quieter, calmer, not quite so um, full space right now. So this is good practice for us. All right, in four, three, two, here we go. Down, down, up, and lift. Down, down, up, and lift. Remember your options if you don't like to go down on your knees. Just give me some big knee lifts with windshield wiper arms. Get everything working. Down, down, up, and lift. Down, down, up, and lift. You got it. Squeeze the glute hard that's lifting you up. Give it an extra little tight squeeze at the top of the movement. Protect your knees, protect your hips by using that muscle that's supposed to be the one getting you there. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, breathe. Land wherever you land. A few more breaths. Two more exercises. We can do this. Then we're going to add a tiny bit onto the yoga poses we learned at the beginning. Flow a little, stretch, and you'll be finished. All right, Jordan, turn towards me, long edge of your mat. Find one end or the other. I don't care which end you go towards. Good. I'm going to have you do two shuffles to the opposite end of your mat. So just shuffle, shuffle. Now turn to face the end of your mat. Hands to the floor. No, face the end. There you go. Hands to the floor. Donkey kick. Go back the other way. Shuffle, 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 donkey kick. You know what? Maybe we don't turn. I think I like what you were about to do. Okay. Shuffle, shuffle, hands to the floor, donkey kick. Yeah. Shuffle, shuffle, donkey kick. That's a little better. All right, here we go. Let's start it in five, four, three, two, one. Shuffle, donkey kick. So those of you who want to, don't want to do the donkey kick, guess what? Don't do it. Just shuffle, maybe drop forward onto your hands. Maybe just shuffle and squat. 
Find something that works better for you. And trust me, your donkey kick does not have to look like that. A donkey <laughs> kick can also just be a little kick with your heels up to your booty. Shuffle, shuffle, donkey kick. Shuffle, shuffle, donkey kick. Just keep moving. Lose your breath. For 10 more seconds. Nine. In five, four, three, two. Last one, breathe. Two more like that. Almost there. All right, find one end of your mat. Two more, get ready in four, three, two, here we go, shuffle. Get lower on your shuffle. See if you can make it more challenging by getting into a deep squat and staying there on your shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle, donkey kick. Or maybe you just shuffle, shuffle, squat. Find something that works for you, lose your breath. Yeah, I know you guys have got this. Shuffle, donkey kick. Shuffle, donkey kick. Or shuffle, squat. Or shuffle, nothing. Just move, lose your breath. You got it. 10 more seconds. In five, four, three, two, one, breathe. Just one more of these. Last exercises, there's only, or last exercise, there's only two of them because it's just one on each side. So we are so almost there. Use your victory breath, bring your heart rate down. You may think you've given 100%, but I know everybody out there has another 10% that they can give. Four, three, two, last one. Here we go. Shuffle, donkey kick. Shuffle, donkey kick. Yeah. Shuffle. Lift the heels. You got it. Shuffle it out. Get low on your shuffles. Make it strong. Lose your breath. One, drop your left knee to the 
floor shift back, half splits, breathe. Two more breaths here. And into your right knee, let your left foot step up to the top of the mat to reach your right flat back, offer your heart, exhale, round and release, root to rise, bring it all the way up, step your left foot back, warrior one, warrior one, left foot back, warrior one, yeah, interlace your fingers behind your low back, puff up your chest, humble warrior, sweep it back up, Drop your left knee, twist it over the right knee, twist it, press it. Hands frame the right foot, shift back, pyramid pose. Pyramid or half splits. Half splits is a great option too. Yeah. Hands come out in front of you, pop yourself up into a standing split. Good, just hold it there. Tuck your left knee behind your right, squat down, curtsy squat. Hands to heart center. If you want to make it a little bit harder, leave them on the floor. If not, yeah. Then come all the way up. Turn that into a dancer. Reach back around, grab your left foot, dancer pose. Yeah, beautiful. Step your left foot back, right foot comes back to meet it. Hands to the floor, move through a flow, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. This is it, guys. Left foot steps through, warrior one. Interlace your fingers behind your low back. Puff up your chest. Fold it forward, humble warrior. Come back up into warrior one. Drop your right knee, right elbow on the outside of the left knee. Twist it, low crescent. Frame your left foot, shift back, pyramid pose. Hands stay on the floor, press into your left foot, standing splits. Good, keeping your hips level. Tuck your right knee behind your left knee, drop down into a curtsy squat. Hands can be at heart center or hands can be on the floor for a little bit more stability. Good. Stand up out of the curtsy squat, sweep your right hand around to your foot, open it up into dancer. Good. Think about lifting and reaching rather than folding forward. Lift, lift, lift. Belly pulls in. Press through the rooted foot. Release out of your dancer. Step your right foot back. Left foot comes back to meet it as the hands go to the floor. Move through a flow. Chaturanga. Up dog. Down dog. And breathe. Drop to your knees. Take your knees about mat distance apart. Reach your fingertips long on the mat, child's pose. Take all this heat we've created to find some more length in your child, child's pose. Really reach the sits bones towards the heels. Reach your fingertips long towards the top of the mat. And just breathe. Leaving your forearms on the mat, start to lift your hips up over your knees. Keep your forearms and your head down, puppy pose. So you're going to shift forward, arms are straight, elbow, arms are straight, but elbows are slightly bent. Yeah, hips are above your knees. A oh, nice stretch in the backs of the shoulders, in the lats. And then drop the hips back down towards your heels. Knees are wide, child's pose. One more time, two breaths. Swing everything around to the front of the mat. Extend your legs out in front of you. Flex your toes, reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. And then gently lower into a forward fold, leading with your chest and breathe.
Walk your heels in towards your booty. Sit all the way up. Take it down to the mat one vertebra at a time, all the way down on your back. Really quick figure four pose, recline, figure four, recline, pigeon, whatever you want to call it. Right ankle crosses over your left knee. Reach behind your left knee, draw the knee in towards your chest and just stretch. Maybe you take your hand on the right knee and push the hip open just a little bit. Good. And then switch sides. Uncross, cross the other direction. Maybe press out on the left knee, a little more opening in your left hip. Release that cross. Tuck your knees into your chest for one last little bit of gratitude. Big breath in here. Big breath out. Release it into your Shavasana. Let your feet fall open wide, palms to the ceiling. I hope you all out there have made the most out of your practice today and you've enjoyed yourself. I urge you to spend about five minutes here in stillness, in silence, in your Shavasana. Have a great day.